As the enrollment deadline draws near for universities, some students still don't know if they'll get financial aid they need to pay for school. That is because of that major issue in the federal government's financial aid office. It comes at a crucial time for students as high inflation leads to more desperation for those who rely on federal assistance. NBC 5's Alana Quilton is live in Dallas this morning to explain and also a reaction from local universities. Alana, good morning. Good morning. Yeah, the government rolled out a new FAFSA system back in December, and those changes included a new form that was supposed to streamline the process and make it easier uh, for families to submit those applications, which it has done, but there has just been one problem after another over the last few months. And I spoke to Karen Kraus. She's the executive director of financial aid, scholarships, and veterans benefits for UT Arlington, and she says the last few months have been frustrating for her team, to say the least. First, it was glitches in the new FAFSA system, including some issues in the new form, like a miscalculation of inflation. And then the latest issue now is another huge miscalculation in the system, all of which has made it difficult to correctly calculate aid and has required thousands of applications to be reprocessed and resent to schools. Now, the Department of Education says this miscalculation has been resolved and about 200,000 applications were affected out of nearly 2 million processed so far this year. But with over 7 million applications in the pipeline in total at this point, point these delays are causing a snag in processing. Keep in mind universities also use this data to award their own grants and scholarships and with commitment deadlines for schools coming up in the next few weeks many campuses across North Texas have pushed back their own FAFSA application deadlines and other due dates by up to three weeks or more. Just again to try to accommodate this idea that if students can't even make corrections on their documents until the first week or two of April, we need to give them time to be able to do that. Most colleges and schools are going to be much more flexible with deadlines than they have been. Typically, May 1st is a deadline to accept your admission at um, kind of nationally. But again, even that deadline, I think some schools are moving to June 1. So each school has some flexibility themselves as to what they want to do. But it's, um, I think students just need to pay attention and be in contact with their particular school or schools that they're looking at to see what those, those deadlines are. Now, Krauss says these changes happening to the federal financial aid program are the biggest she's seen in 30 years and that the Department of Education did not receive additional federal funding to implement it. While the government works through these delays, many schools are finally getting student information back and are getting around to sending out award letters, which should pick up the pace this month. I am told that students really need to check in with their financial aid offices to see those updated deadlines because a lot of schools are making decisions on that right now. Reporting live in Dallas, Alana Quillen, NBC5. Okay, some good advice there, Alana.